Hey guys, welcome to Rider 2 Brief, and here's another video. Today I want to talk about my Engineer Gobi. Some people call them saltwater tank eels. They're not an eel. That's what he looks like. Mine looks black and white. He's about a foot long, and he lives underneath this very large rock that you see right here. Right there. These guys, like gobies, sand sifting gobies, he is a goby, and he sifts the sand, but I wanted to show you how much sand he sifts. How much sand could an engineer goby, if a goby, engineer goby could sift sand, whatever. This dude will wreak havoc on your sand bed if that's a problem for you. These guys are not for you. I tried to do the best I could to capture video. Look at us. Look at this. How high that is. It's almost covering my coral. He dug out th underneath the rock. He loves to live under the rock. That's what these guys do. They dig very deep. And there's a lot of sand mounds, as you can see. The sand bed was relatively flat. I smoothed it out. Three days later, this is what you get. Mounds of sand, and I mean mounds of sand. Look at this. He digs so deep under these rocks, and a lot of these engineer gobies wind up killing them. Look, he's, on, he's in there. You can't see him, but he's, he's peeking his head out. I mean, he comes out during feeding time. Um... So a lot of these guys will kill themselves because they dig under the rock and then the rock winds up toppling on top of them. So you gotta make sure the rock is very, very sturdy. This rock is on my glass on the bottom of the aquarium. So it's not gonna topple over on them. But look at this, look at this. This mound, you can't tell, but it's like four to five inches high. Mounds of sand everywhere. This dude, he's crazy. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I love him, but he's crazy.